Welcome to Real Frank Kids Movie Reviews. In this episode, we're going to discuss the new movie, Luca, from Disney, Pixar. Luca's about these, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, like sea creatures, sea monsters that can turn themselves into humans or look like humans. And it tells a story how they become friends with the uh, this human girl, whatever. And it just introduces them to another world. So... Kind of an interesting movie. The movie takes place in Italy, which is kind of cool. Our ancestors are from Italy. We go to Italy every once in a while. And today's special guest for this episode is my son Pietro. Hello, Pietro. Welcome to the show. Hi. You? You're still with me. Hi. How are you doing, Pietro? Good. All right. Uh, try not to bounce around too much. All right. All right. So we're gonna talk about the movie Luca. You saw the movie Luca, all right? Yep. So, what did you like about the movie Luca? Did you like the movie Luca, first of all? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. That's it? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it. Yeah. What did you think about the story? Like, the, the, the overall story of the movie like did, were you happy with the story did you think it was entertaining yeah yeah i mean is there any part of the story that you liked or didn't like what part of the, the story you didn't like can i say the funniest part of the movie all right you want to tell me about the funniest part of the movie all right go ahead what was the funniest part of the movie for you Wanting to just run off. Like, he swims off. Oh, when Giuseppe runs away? Yeah, he tries to run away. Oh, I see. So the movie has these uh, sea monsters. They like sea monsters. They almost like uh, mermaid, but they're boys. And one of the characters is by himself. And he finds the main character, Luca, and they become friends. And then he learns that when he gets out of water, he can turn human. So they went to interact with some of the humans. So Giuseppe, who was Giuseppe in the movie? Giuseppe, you mean? Yeah, who was Giuseppe? One of the sheepfish. One of the what? Sheepfish. Oh, the chief. Oh, the one that would just, just get scared and take off all the time, or just take off? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, rah. Rah. Yeah. You like him? Wait, what the face look like? What does face look like? Like that? That looks like that. <laughs> All right. What do you think of Luca's parents? Do you like Luca's parents? A bit. You did like them? Yeah. They were kind of strict, weren't they? Yeah. Is it kind of strict like me and mommy? We're strict with you. <laughs> so also in the movie they could turn into humans right when they got out of the water right and when their skin was dry but if they got wet they turned back into the sea monsters right yeah but if they got water poured on their hands over their head yeah you know there's one thing that really bothered me in the movie was he's training for that race right there's a race sequence right and he's training to ride the bike up the hill and stuff right and he sweats, right? Don't people sweat? Yeah. Don't you sweat when you ride your bike? How yeah. come he wasn't sweating? And what happens when you sweat? You get hot. You get water, right? So then he would turn into the sea monster, right? So why didn't he turn into the sea monster? He was wearing a shirt. He had a shirt on his face. He had hair. He had sweat. He had run down his eyes. His face. Well, he had hair. So his face just started having what blue streaks on it. I disagree. When he was sweating, he should have had started turning to a sea monster again. That's what I think. 
That's what I think. The cool part of the story is him and his friend's goal was to go into this contest and win this race so they could buy a Vespa and take the Vespa and go all over the places they wanted to go to, all freedom. Vespa. Vespas are sweet. I wanted a Vespa for the longest time. They're so cool. You go, they're so cool. Did you like the Vespa? I didn't really like the blue beat up one. Yeah, well, that's the one they could afford, though. Yeah, but don't forget they sold it at the Yeah, but we don't want to give away the end of the movie, do we? No, we don't want to do that. So, what did you think about the acting? Was the person who played Luca good? Did you like like that person? And and what was the his friend's name? Alberto. Yeah. Did you like them? Yeah. Did you? What about the girl? Was her was her name Julia or what was her name? Julia. Julia. Did you like her? Did you think she was a good actor? Yeah. What about the the villain? The, well, he's really a villain. He was just not a nice guy. What was his name again? I forget his name too. What was his name? <laughs> he wasn't a nice guy though, right? He was not a nice guy. No, he wasn't. All right. So, out of your Disney movies, you've seen a lot of Disney movies, right? Yeah. I mean, a lot, right? Right. Mm-hmm. As far as the animation goes, like the way it looked, did it look good? Like compared to the other Disney movies? Yeah. Like the quality of the, the the computer animation, the CGI and stuff. The yeah. It looked good. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's let's rank this then. Um, well, before we rank it, what was your favorite part in the movie? Do you have a favorite part? Mm-mm. You don't have a favorite part? Mm-mm. Okay. What was your least favorite part? Come on, there had to be a part you didn't really like. You thought it was. Eh. Right? Eh. I didn't really like what he was getting. At the end? Yeah. Because you were afraid he was going to get hurt? He should have been inside the train. Oh, he wasn't following the rules? Mm-hmm. It was dangerous? Yep. Ah, I see. I see. Did the movie make you want to have a Vespa? You didn't want a Vespa at all? Not really. Oh. How would you rate this amongst all the rest of the Disney Pixar movies you've seen? Six. A six? So overall, you give this movie a six out of a ten? Nine. Nine? Nine is like one of the greatest Pixar Disney movies you've ever seen in your entire life. Like Seven. Seven? Seven's still pretty high. Seven's like, oh my God, I can watch this movie like five times, ten times. Watch it you already watched it twice? Yeah. What's your favorite Disney movie right now? What's your favorite all-time Disney movie? Don't have one. What do you mean? You don't have <laughs> one? Ratatouille? Uh, Wally? Big Hero 6? Um... Uh, the other one with uh, they're looking for their dad. The dad. The uh, what was the, that one called? That you like Soul? <laughs> Your soul freaks you out. <laughs> it still scares you. What scares you about it? The death part scares you about it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, all right. So, 
you still give it a seven. So your overall rating for the movie is a seven. Is that what you give it? Out of all the Disney movies, you'd say this is a seven. Okay. I give Soul a zero. Because you were scared of it. Yes. All right. So you gave yours a seven. So would you recommend your friends to go see this movie? Yeah. Yeah? Yes? For sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So my review, I like the story. The story was cute. I give the story yeah, six. The acting, I mean, animation, how do you screw up acting in that? So I would, you know, there was no really any dramatic in it. So I'd probably give that a five. Uh, CGI was fantastic. I would give that a nine, especially the water. You remember the water when they're showing the ocean and stuff, washing up to the shore? That was amazing. Like the detail of the water was phenomenal. Phenomenal. I give that a solid eight the CGI cinematography I mean cinematography for a Pixar animated movie is kind of hard to what's your, what's cinematography? that's a great question it's the way it's filmed like the scenery and stuff in a movie like this the mountains the sky the cinematography the way they move the camera for scenes and stuff for the actors and actresses and uh digital movies a little harder to do that because it's all animated I'd probably give that about a, a five so my overall rating for this movie, I would give it a 5.6. 5.6. And I love the Vespa part because for a while there, uh, we went to Italy. When I came back from Italy, that's all I talked about was getting a Vespa. But if I had a Vespa over here, I'd probably get killed because people drive like crazy here and don't respect motorcycles. How are they going to respect a Vespa? Vespas are sweet. <laughs> so I give it a 5.6. What did I say? Six or seven? I said six. Five point six. Five point six, and you give it a solid seven. Mm -hmm. You sticking with that? Mm -hmm. All right, great. So that's our review for Luca. It's a very good family movie. I give it a five point six. Eh, it's it's decent. I like it from the Italy personal standpoint for me because I have family there. By the way, hello to Bianca Maria, Anthony, uh, Pietro, and Letizia. How you doing? Uh, so that's where I had it from the sentimental value. So 5.6, 7 for Pietro. He's the kid. He probably has a better view for it. Uh, so if you're interested, check out Luca. Thanks for watching this episode. Until we uh, review another one next time. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye.